So, Bart, in a recent Q and A, you um were talking about protein in fewer meals and how it like reduces the amount of glucose in a spike. Do you know how would someone know if they've got enough glucose in a given meal to produce that, you know, insulin glucose spike? Um, is it that everyone falls into one meal per day, or can they they do two or three if the food volume or food capacity allows? Yeah, I mean, some people find that they need to eat more than once a day to get in enough energy or to get the food in because they can't eat that much food in one meal. Not that that's a lot of food, but for some people it is. There is a bit of individual variability. There's room for people to, to do their own thing a bit. In terms of how do you know that you've had the insulin spike sufficient to keep your kidney function the way it should be so that you're not losing your electrolytes, well, plain and simple, you'll have no sign of electrolyte shortages or problems or imbalances. The most common symptoms of an electrolyte issue are muscle cramps, especially at night time, muscle twitching, especially at night time, heart palpitations, inability to sleep, a restless feeling, um, and a craving for salt, basically. So if you're not experiencing any of those things, it's extremely unlikely that you're having an electrolyte problem because it would show up pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah. So is there any sort of guideline amount you'd give for someone if they were having multiple meals? Um, so, you know, is it a point where if someone's eating, say, 700 grams of meat in one sitting, is that too much? Or is it, again, just by the scale of the person? Yeah, how much they need yeah to exactly that. It depends on one's lean body mass. As it is now, if you're trying to gain muscle mass, so you don't adjust it upwards for how muscular you'd like to be, you still eat an amount of protein in accordance with what your lean mass is now. If you're overweight, by which I mean over fat, then you would need to adjust your protein intake on the basis of what your lean mass ought to be. And the number is 1.75 grams of protein per kilogram of lean mass, which you need to multiply by four to get a weight of meat. So 700 grams of meat in one sitting, or in one day, I should say, would be a person that weighs... About one and a half times what I weigh, which isn't very much because I weigh 64 kilos, give or take, around about 138 to 142 pounds, give or take. So half as much weight, again, would be someone that would need about 700 grams of meat. Now, that mean, that means the red part of the meat without the fat. So the first few times you work out how much that is, you will need to weigh it so that you can then from that point do it relatively accurately visually from that point without having to weigh it every single time sort of thing. But that will give you your your, your guide, if you like, your gauge to work off. And some people need a bit more protein if they're very, very highly active. Some people need a bit less if they're not so active. There are individual differences as well depending on your metabolism. So that number, that 1.75, is a sweet spot for most people. There'll be a plus or minus 5% either way on it for, for people in, in general. If you have to eat more than once a day, fine. I would still suggest that you get the vast majority of your protein in one of those meals if you can. And the rest of your food in another form, in another meal, if you can. If you're eating two meals a day and, and splitting your protein in half and you're not having electrolyte issues, then it's not broken for you and you don't need fixing it. So you can carry on. I'm not one for fixing things that aren't broken, personally. So that's kind yeah, of that makes sense. all the different ways of looking at that particular issue, I guess. <laughs> 